Perfect. Yes. I planned on the mic being hot, but then I, like, got distracted as I was looking to, to make sure a couple settings were there, and then I, I... You know how things go. I thought there was going to be some music, but uh, the, the music ended. The ambiance set back in. And it's been real nice ambiance. Some nice, uh, you know, what's going on? Yeah, there it is. It swells in. Yellow. Oh, it says yellow. Yeah, I have I have subtitles working this time. I have no idea how well they're going to work, but we'll see how it goes. Um, also, please remind me, if I go to play the game and the subtitles aren't showing up, uh, I will do my best to uh, update the title and game. I sure do. I forgot that was the thing I needed to do. One second. A chat will definitely scream. Um, I might have to get Meredith to do that because I don't know if I have the ability to do that from here. Uh, let me go. Let me go bugger real fast. Hey, Meredith. Do I have stream title changing? Powers and game changing powers, or is that a uh, you thing? But we're making it happen, folks. We're doing it live. Uh, I don't know if I can do that by OBS. Is that I, I assumed <laughs> I assumed that it was something I had to do from Twitch. It's been a long time since I've messed with that. But that's okay. Because I think Meredith's got my back. OBS should give me that capability. Cool. Yeah, Meredith. <laughs> Super Saiyan powers. Uh, how do I change that information on OBS? I see. I've always done it through Twitch, but that was like back in the day. But that's okay, because I think Meredith's got it covered. And if not, oh, uh, name for the stream. Um, uh, ready, willing, and sable. <laughs> that <laughs> she asked me for a name for the stream that was the first thing that came to he my mind and uh that's what you get yeah the uh the rad sheba plush is usually um it, it used to be up top and now and now we love you meredith thank you very much you're the greatest and the best you're appreciated immensely and uh next next week i'll know how to do that quicker um, as people are sauntering in, uh, let me figure out which window I'm supposed to be looking at here. Hoo, hoo, hoo. There it is. What's that weird icon? I don't recognize that program. Oh, it's the game already. It sure is a loading ready run hoodie. Yeah, there it is. Mm. Yes, indeed. Um, where was I? Yes. Okay. So yeah, as people are sauntering in, um, I think that was the word I just used. Uh, I have the distinct privilege of getting to uh, sub in for Monsieur Jacob, uh, Jacob Burgess there. Um, so uh, as a uh, Spirit Squad takeover member person, I get to sit in the hot seat. The hot seat is now my chair to uh, stream all month for you guys on Tuesdays. You get three more of these. One of them is going to have Meredith as well. So... That'll be next week, and we can talk about that more at the end when we're uh, promoting the, the next thingies. 
Tell them of the surprise, she says. Oh, tell them of the surprise now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be messing around with World of Horror. Ooh. Except I get to... I get to be the, the horrified one, and Meredith gets to sit back and watch. And, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. I'll, I'll tank all the, the horror elements, and then Meredith, who claims she is too scared to play, can just do all of the, like, RPG strategy stuff. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll main tank until I'm floor tank, and I'll just, I'll just, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll make it happen. Alrighty. Um, but yes, so uh, Yisbird Games is a game publisher. They do, they publish wonderful games such as the A11 Hall A, Cyberpunk Bartender Action, World of Horror. She Remembered Caterpillars. I'm looking for the, that's their logo. Look at that. It's a sweet logo. Um, Nirvana, uh, Masquerada. Songs and Shadows. No place for bravery. Thank you, Sarah. I was getting there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Meredith. Meredith answered Gekyoryu's, uh question of where the Rad Shiba plush came from. This, this Rad Shiba plush is from Fan Gamer, and then this Dana plush is from the Isbrid merch store. This Jill plush is from the Isbrid merch store. These two have magnetic hands so they can hold hands. And Sheba, comma, Rad does not have magnets in his head so that when you go to pet him, nothing gets stuck. You can just you can just pet him. You don't have to worry about like you know. It it it, it works out that he doesn't have magnets in his head. Um Yeah. That said. I think we're here to play some games. Well, a singular game. Uh, I am going to do that. Okay, now see, I have this, the, the text that's like way up there. I have it, um, it's white with a drop shadow, but I don't know if that's visible. I'm going to see what happens when we start playing. If it's real tough to read, let me know. The top line is just like that getting cut off at least it is on the website uh i don't know i can i can trim that slightly i can make it prettier if you'd like uh if that's a thing no no we we uh we accommodate here one moment how do i to transform henshin I got this. Uh, no. Okay. You know what? We're not going to mess with it because I'm going to misclick something and all of a sudden I'm going to like make the game window cropped or something. and It'll suck. All right. Oh, look at that. Native controller support. I'm happy. I have a... We're going we're gonna to be using this lad. Alrighty. So Sable is a game by, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Shedworks is the game dev studio this is a game that i've had my eye on for a long time um ever since i saw them posting concept art of their shaders on twitter um because uh their their game is inspired by the art of um mobius is the artist's name they've done a lot of uh works over the years i could probably have prepared a uh powerpoint or something to discuss them but suffice it to say uh it's beautiful it's a beautiful game with with it, it's just astounding so uh i have yet to dive into it though uh this is my first time checking out the game beyond just the previews and telling people about it so yes <laughs> uh Yisbrit does have that official endwalker powerpoint i had nothing to do with making that however i have everything to do with appreciating it because it's wonderful and you can find that on the Yisbrid Discord, a hey, at discord.gg slash Yisbrid Games. Can you throw that sweet link in the chat? There it is. Ah, oh, look at that. Um, the PowerPoint was posted there at some point, uh, along with really cool messages by really cool people that are a lot of them are in the chat. A hey, complimenting each and every one of you. 
It is also on Twitter. Yes, thank you, Sarah. Sarah and Robert Merlot and uh, Meredith Gerber occasionally are going to be my mods tonight, uh, though Meredith um, is supposed to be adventuring right now, I think. So I appreciate that she's hanging out and making sure everything's going smooth. But uh, yeah, I think Meredith always had the sword. If she didn't, I, I'd be surprised. But yeah. Um, that said, you did not. Ah, then the... Oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> you have my sword and my sword and my sword. All my all my moderators. Yeah, it's a very important Meredith, says Sarah Serende. Alrighty. Yes, farewell, Meredith. Uh, enjoy being the druid in D&D, as you are currently stating. And uh, may all your uh, animal transformations uh, be reversible. All right. Let's do this new game, and if uh, I need to mess with any sound stuff, y'all just let me know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But it's looking pretty good. Um, I don't see anything that screams at me to immediately change. So uh, let's do this. <laughs> uh, we'll do the first one. Oh, music is by Japanese Breakfast, by the way, the band. I think it's like at jbrecky on, on Twitter or something to that effect. I can find the actual, the actual uh, thing. Sable is the character's name. Jumping appears to be with X. I'm going to really fast see if there's a... Mm. I want all these normal, but my frame rate is being a little funky right now. And I don't want that to mess with anything. Yeah. What, what? One second. Just gonna see if I have anything open accidentally that I can close. Hmm. Well, uh, what we will do is after. Yeah. The game, the game looks phenomenal, I will say, uh, in front of me. But oh, you know what? There's a line weight option. Let me see if let me see if this fixes things. Does that make it better or worse for Twitch? It makes me a little bit sad, but it's not the worst. But if that makes things better for Twitch. It's not, like, actually making me sad. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. That's fine. I want to see what that, that face looks like now with the... Okay, well, you can still say... I can climb. Hello. Okay. How 
was that shown? Ah, okay. Crusader jump. You can jump a long way in this game. That's that's real nice. Yeah. Climbing, move towards the wall to keep climbing, keep an eye on your stamina. I, I saw you mentioned not checking out the giant face. I, for some reason, I assumed it was just a set piece. I don't know why I assumed that. I guess we can, we can run and see. Incoming message from the big giant head. Can I cling to you? I sure can. I'm still of the opinion this is not where I should be right now, but that's okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Let us continue to, to make our way out to the front. Yeah, jumping feels real nice. Yeah, I'm getting very Breath of the Wild vibes, especially given uh, the climbing and the, hey, here you are in a temple, go forth. And I love it. Hmm. Well, I gotta find a switch, I'm assuming. like the first. Maybe not. Oh, let's try this. Press L to crouch. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Is that still looking nice for, for Twitch? Grab this. I sure can. Will I take damage? Probably will. I'm gonna. Oh, there was there was soft ground. I don't know if you can take damage in this actually. Okay, so out of curiosity, because I was in a liney place, I want to see what happens if I drop to the default line weight. Is this still looking okay, or is it is it having trouble? Cause like there's some thin lines up there. It's worse, but manageable. Nope, we're not dealing with worse. We're going back to this. That'll be fine. I'm okay with that. Ibex camp. Oh, I'm loving the music. Kind of reminds me of Adventure Time a little bit. Just that like combination of like adventure whimsy and like synth sounds I can feel Jotty smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. Oh wait, no, that's not this person talking. That's that's <laughs> that's me. Oh no, I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused, and I'm doing impressions of her apparently in my head. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Uh, I know, I know. I tell Jotty that I know, but that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. 
She chuckles. <laughs> I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat, you were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jotty reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. I thank Jotty for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are, so let's get you started. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something, um, well, let's say as useful as it is fun, hmm? I think I might suspect what Jotty's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon, which I tell Jotty. Sabrel, don't go planning your return before we've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly, so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, huh? <laughs> she knows me. Now go speak with Hilal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. <laughs> go on, go on, it's nearly time! I can hold this. Left, left bumper. For the compass. Oh, that's cool! It just surrounds your character. I like that. Do you have aught more to say? Jotty greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. <laughs> That's a big glider to you. It's so strange getting being called that, I believe is what that said. I tell Jotty how strange it is being called glider instead of sable or even clan child. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it, and maybe I like it too. My little glider. <laughs> Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages, zero. Have a good day. Now we should we should do the the uh what's the what's the robot voice? Oh, when you talk, your choices are getting cut off by your camera window. Oh. Okay. Fair point. Okay, let me careful. Careful. Wait, oh, that's the wrong thing. Ah, this one. There we go. Okay, let's try that. Now we need the logging. What? What? What is that? How do you do that? The. Uh, the the robot like the. Hello, hello, Sable. There it is. Unread messages. Zero. Have a good day. I can't I can't get that voice. I'm trying to do two Kermity. I don't want to do Kermit. I want the like Almost the Stephen Hawking. There's a way to do it. I used it for uh uh <laughs> anytime I was reading Adam from uh from um 
Metroid Dread. Though I told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable, uh, <laughs> hello. Hello, how are you today? I ask Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I ask Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes, of course! Right! Yes, your bike. That I was meant to... <clears throat> that I prepared for you. Because today is your... Uh... Gliding, yes. <laughs> Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course! Right! Yes, yes. <laughs> I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you. In a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial? <laughs> yes, exactly! A learning experience! You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by... taking a test ride... on a different bike! <laughs> I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest. Sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. Sand cutter, that is cool. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. What's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days, always asking questions. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Get good. <laughs> Slicing sands. Don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, what did that say? It said... Uh, is there a thing that says what that just said? You know what? Let's use this as... These are so neat. I have a mask, I have a top, and I have trousers. Ibexy? Ibexy? A blank-looking mask worn by all children of the dunes. Most kids customize theirs for fun, but more traditional clans frown on that sort of self-expression. Uh, my old Ibexy top and hood, a hand-me-down from Yara. The scratchiness reminds me of home. Oof. And get itchy. Ibexi trousers. Comfy sandals for exploring sandy places. Easy to get sand out of, but not the best for climbing. I hate sand. Of course, and it gets everywhere. Alrighty, well, I guess. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I can strafe. Cool. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride it when I like. What was that sound? It like whistles. It's tough to strafe while. Whoa, okay. Oh, I see. Right trigger is drive. That's right, okay. All right, I can get a, I can get a hang of this. All right, that's where we're going, right? Yeah. Oh, it's cool. This ring, this ring of rocks. It's kind of a clunker. Oh. Okay. Wait, so A goes into strafing mode. I see. So you switch between the two. 
So if I'm going here and then I switch to strafing, I can carry the momentum, I guess? Huh. <laughs> Is that... Ocelot says that that's one million percent a Stargate. I don't know, I'm not seeing those chevrons. Well, yeah, they, they, uh, I can, I, uh, you know what? Yeah, I can see it. I can see the, I can see the resemblance. I don't know if it's carrying the momentum or not. I can't quite tell. I guess we'll see if I get like a faster bike. Maybe we can mess around with things. All right, come on. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Table, <laughs> congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. <laughs> Have you already been by Hilal? Oh, right. I'd nearly forgotten about Halal, and I thank Driss for the reminder, before at least nudging him a little about the bike. I ask him if I'll still be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, huh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Halal's got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that, uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I think... I thank Driss very much for his help in his bike, and I depart for Hillal. Uh, I guess I am to ride this to go see Hillal, and Hillal would be... I thought I... Can I use the compass while I'm on the bike? Maybe I have to get off to use it. Maybe that's just telling me kind of... Oh, that is to bike, I guess? Yes, that tells me where the nearest bike is. Does that put it on there? Ah, that's what that does. Okay, so I can take those on and off. Alright. And now they show up. So I'm assuming Hillal is going to be this way. Please? Let's go. Okay. I'm so scared to like go fast. Oh jeez. Well I managed to stay on. Alright. No harm done. Oh wow, you can see there's like red out there. How is it that Simon manages to contain so much chaos and verve in so small a form? Even now there is something troublesome being dreamed up behind that mask, I know it. I need to go... This away? Maybe I can be off of the bike. Maybe I can find them without the bike. That seems to be the way. And I can sprint. Neat. As I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. 
Hillal's hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hillal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Hilal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel... Electricity? Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Guiding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of, ca of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hillal all claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. Thanks, Halal. Yeah, so we got so we got a battery. Take this to the Duracell mines. The Energizer waterfall should You'll have to defeat the Lithium Lion. <laughs> Alright, we're... Let me see how it goes to the... To the... That. <laughs> you know what you signed up for. Kidding. <laughs> the mods are planning a revolt. I can sense it. Coming. Coming. <laughs> please no spray. Please, please no spray bottle. Try climbing. I don't have enough stamina for this. But luckily, uh, gravity doesn't seem to be an enemy here. Not sensing any fall damage. I guess let's see if there's a suitable place to climb. Like, how about this? This looks like a much easier path. Incredible hand strength to just, you know, no, no holds. I oh, okay. Thought maybe I could monkey bars that. <laughs> Unnecessary jumps. think moth or butterfly I'm thinking moth it's got some moth qualities hello oh geez okay hey what's up all right Hmm. 
Aha. I wonder if I can get across over here and not have to worry about going down there. Uh, Sable, you gonna make it? Yeah! I think maybe we were supposed to climb up and then jump across this chasm, but you know, hey. My way works too. Hmm. I'm assuming down there is where I'm supposed to go, but I kind of want to see if I can get up there. Let's see. Can I step on this? Oh, please drop. Sable, do you have footing here? You do. Okay. Can I climb to the top of this? I sincerely doubt it. That looks to be too far up. All right. Catch your breath. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna go this way then. I bet. No. Can I make this? Heck yeah. Uh, well, I guess we're on the ground anyway now. Just gonna see how I could... Well, you know, hey. Looks like I can still make it up there. Press and hold data. Wait, I could do that this whole time? What's glide? Oh geez. What do they think the A button is? I'm 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 on a PlayStation controller. That would be X Y B A. Would would have been X, right? I think. If we're talking like hold A to glide midair. I'm wondering if I'm about to get my glider and I'm not supposed to be up there till I get it. And that prompts based on where I am? Question mark? Because maybe this seals me off and then I have to leave that way. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid, exhilarated, or maybe it feels right? I am ready for Rowana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. animation is so cool. That then like on to the next one like <laughs> like then another sable runs in and then does that and then she goes up while the the, the next one just is just this endless 
endless supply. Quest updated Whispering Stones. Show Hill all the activated let's say glider stone? Glide gliding something rather. <laughs> Neat. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright. Seems my guess was correct. So cool. Yeah, what's it? What's it called? Is it just a glider in in Breath of the Wild? But like, sailcloth. Sailcloth eats your heart out. I have a friggin' like rad bubble. Take any stamina or anything to use? No, it does not. Just obeys the laws of gravity, I guess. Neat. You can hear her heartbeat. Is that a burb? Hello, burb. Farewell, bird. <laughs> I guess I can just glide forever. Neat. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I don't think I take fall damage at all. Like, I don't think I can, but yet, like, I still feel like I have to glide her before she hits the ground. <laughs> Above turquoise. Back to camp. I'd also really like to know just how vast this land is. like that feeling of like I have no idea what's on the other side of those walls but I can go there I think Sable had it right when she said exhilarating that's that's cool all right uh, now I still want to get closer to the camp before I dismount who am I talking to first we'll park the bike oh hello Park the bike over here. Oh, I love the, the wind chimes. When I return to Hilal, it's clear that they it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf, in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Huh. Safe, like a warm hug. I tell Hillal that I feel almost embraced by the perpetual, warm and safe in my own little bubble. <laughs> they swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Hillal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling. Just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there having, heaving myself into chasms. <laughs> I'll heave myself into chasms for you. I tell Hilal I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf, and they giggle. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. 
It takes a really serious focus. Halal laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. <laughs> and I certainly haven't gotten that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. Oh, Sarah, uh, Serinde notes their they-them pronouns and their leg. I did not notice their leg. I noted their they-them pronouns, but that's awesome. It's probably the, the text box in the way, but alas. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Hillal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance, all in one. I say goodbye to Hillal. Before I go, Hillal gestures towards the tower. It seems Cizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Halal quotes from a selection of obscure and lyrically mediocre Ebexi historical ballads whenever I pass by. There is a great verse that says much about our folk, buried under sand. Oh, it's it's a haiku. There is a great verse. There is a great verse that says much about our folk, buried under sand. Huh. Neat. Jotty greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. Oh, I can answer. I can I can come back and answer differently. Okay. That's big glider to you. I tell Jotty I'm actually a big glider. She laughs. You're right, you are. <laughs> Sable, noted adult, and big glider. I'll keep it in mind. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> and adults can climb. <laughs> Burbs. Cizo is an outclanner to the Ebexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Cizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. <laughs> Excited for my bike! Cizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. Thank you for the heads up there, game. She's quite a serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. <laughs> yes, Jotty told me how excited you were. Cizo sniffs. Mm, she also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... Is that throaty? Maybe that's scratchy. <laughs> oh well. It's throaty now. I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I just tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts yourself. I'm going to make my own hoverbike? Ask Cizo if I'm expected to make my own hoverbike. No, you're not going to make your hoverbike. You're going to build your own hoverbike. 
Uh, what's the difference? To make suggests you're creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. Cizo hands me something. <clears throat> this is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. Oh, that sits a lot better. Ask Cizo where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships, and fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Damn, that's a hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Do most gliders make their own bikes? I ask Cizo if most gliders really make their own bikes. Only the lucky ones. I tell Cizo I'll see her soon and head off in search of the components. Together, we will create something new out of the old. Yeah. Velabastet? Ve Velaba Velabastet? Says that they love all of the background sounds, and I am inclined to agree. All the little turny pops and clicks and machine sounds. I'm using your navigator. Press right bumper to use the navigator to mark interesting landmarks to appear on your compass. You can also add or remove markers from the map screen. Try placing a marker on the ships CISO pointed out to you. Okay. And the ships were out there. No, where were the ships? There. There's one. That's so cool. You can, like, see the line so you know exactly where it is. Put one there. I know she just told me where all of the ships were, but I don't recall them. There was one by the dam. One there. Put one there. Sounds good. Hope you feel better, Ocelot. Uh, sorry that this is uh, making you feel motion sick. Um, I I will do my best to uh, try to curb how often I mess with the uh, the like camera stick. I tend to like uh, I tend to play around with it a lot. Um, just out of habit. Where is that other ship? I know she told me there was another one, and I cannot remember for the life of me what she said as far as where to find it. So you know what? That This will be fine. We'll go with two, and we'll find the other one. Oh, wait. I can glide. Heck yeah. And yes, Velbastet, I am Fizz. The human, comma, Fizz. Good morning, class. I'll be your substitute teacher. My name is The Human, but you can call me Fizz, because I'm a cool teacher. Say Mr. The Human. <laughs> I ruined my own joke. Uh, where? Wait, I can even tell where my bike is. Thank you, game, for making this navigable well I guess I shouldn't say my bike I should say the the bike belonging to our, uh, our esteemed mechanic That was totally supposed to build us one, I guess. Alrighty. Uh, let's go to... The first one. The first ship that I saw, at least. It probably says in the quest, specifically. Ships of old. 
Does it say anything more than that? That's fine. Oh, there's one. We'll go to that one first so I don't forget it. How do I... Maybe over here? ship. Aha! I'll be taking this. Excitedly, I scurry back to my bike. at that. I love it. It's that, like, somewhere between Breath of the Wild and Minecraft. be adding to my sleepy time playlist after this. Wait, are these? Is this just money? Are these not items? It's funny, uh, I just saw an article on, double funny, I'm wearing an NPR shirt. Uh, I just saw NPR posted an, ar posted an article where they interviewed Japanese Breakfast um, and discussed how um, they believe that they've written their best song uh, for this game, like their, their best work. And I, I haven't given that a read yet, but um, I'll post the article before I go on break. Let's see, what, what time is it, actually? I can't see. It's 6.04. Alrighty. Uh, we can do first break. We'll just go on the hour. Um, I'm going to keep that music going, though, that's for sure. So, you know what that means. Time to get up, stretch thine legs, wiggle thine arms, crack your back, get some water, meds, meds. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. And where is my... Yeah, alrighty. Um, I shall return in about, we'll just make it like a little five minute break, I suppose, five to ten. And then I will see you all shortly.
now I'm back. I'm not muted. You're muted. We'll let the uh, we'll let the break go for another like couple minutes, but I'm all good. Actually, I'll, I'll use this moment to uh, shout out my friend. Um, I think on Twitch he's Wamusubi. Um, neither here nor there. But uh, for my birthday, which was last month, he got me this coaster of my character's name in Final Fantasy XIV. And the job symbol for the Blue Mage, which is like my favorite job. Yeah. So I've been I've been uh, keeping my cup of water just sitting sitting nicely on there. He gets he gets the shout outs for for the present. He uh it it also came with a poster of Golbez, which is a character from Final Fantasy IV. Um, which, like all of the posters I have, I have put none of them up, but it'll get there. It'll get there. I also thought maybe I could go an hour without talking about Final Fantasy XIV, but you know, hey, Endwalker, it is what it is. But I'll I'll stop it there. <laughs> Ed Walker says the the captions. Alrighty, where's that sweet sweet that? Yes, we're back in business. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's determined that I'm talking about Mr. Walker and Herman. <laughs> or Germans. It's trying. <laughs> oh, it sure is trying. Alrighty. What is that? Well, what are you, little buddy? You're freaking adorable. I can talk to you. A chum egg. Chum egg. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. A friend. I was I was just hoping beyond hope that it was chum like pal and not chum like shark food. So I'm glad it was the former, not the latter. Uh. Where were the other parts? That, there's got to be a part over over there. I think I said something about it was by the. They said on the other side of the dam. Are you bike parts? Are you bike parts? Bikeal parts? <laughs> Maybe they said it was over this. My lighting is working actually. There we go. Oh. Wow, I can really book it. Aha. Or not. Is there a boat in this library? I think they said this was a dam. Ooh. Ooh, what does this button do? Can I interact with it? I don't think I can. Oh, I sure can!
All right. Oh, it was the lever next to it. I see. I love how, like, so like, say, see that object there, how it's glowing. Like, because everything is just solid colors with like a little bit of shade here and there, like things that have lights are so, like the contrast is there in the style because you have like a gradient where there normally isn't one. You have that like glow. And yet the world can feel so bright and like sun baked and light still shows up impressively. That's so cool. Okay. I can only imagine if that didn't solve something, I was going to be confused. Okay. An atomic control panel. That's a thing I needed. Side of that broken boat outside. Let's check. There does not appear to be anything here. leave my bike there. Like, I don't want to go too far without it, but I kind of want to see what this area has in store. And maybe I can go around and get my bike? I feel like this leads back around where the dam was. Oh, okay. Dump anything out? Another friend, excuse me, chum. Chum egg. I will take that. Now I have two, two eggs.
it's muffling the music. I love the effect, but I, I'm curious as to what's triggering that. Whether it's proximity to this great being here, or is it being in the shade? Or maybe it is just because it's a little shrine. See, now I'm worried I shouldn't have taken money out of a shrine. <laughs> Can I put it back? Onto the yellow portion of that. Mayhaps. Come on, you got this. Nope, maybe you don't got it. Try that again. Straight to the top, straight to the top, straight to the top. Ah, so close. Then I'm doubting I can make it up this. Okay, so if I jump, it doesn't seem to take that first bit. So maybe I can take advantage of that. Can I make this? Nope. Maybe I can here if I... Can't tell if that saved stamina or not. Uh, almost. Nope. Okay. Uh, that was my last shot. Now this guy down here was where I came in. Interesting. Your stamina just kind of stays where it is, I guess. Watch it kind of go up and down a little. <laughs> but Sable, one might ask. Why are you just climbing instead of using the ladder that's placed directly to the right of you? Sable had no answer, but Sable didn't need one. This glider is so cool. Right, where to next? We still need a power supply. Atomic Calibrator. So, one of them was... Maybe I... I guess I should just go and talk to... The quest giver again, just in case. Who gave me the quest? Cizo, right? Told her where to get everything. Is that correct? of a machinist. C 
he's always waiting for the parts. Still need to find an atomic calibrator. An atomic power supply. Cool. And the way that I... How do I... Yeah, that. Okay. Atomic calibrator was out... I'm gonna say it's probably that bright light-up guy right there. And the atomic power supply. Would that just be this? Is there a power supply in there? Or did it point at something else? Was it over here? Might have been that. Oh, but look, a friend. Another friend. Let's just get that one first so I don't have to make a marker. me a list of every deity in the universe so that I can thank them for giving me a navigate to bike option. Ebexi red dye. The dye bottle for the colors of the Ebexi red bike. Ooh. I can... I thought I heard about bike customization, but I forgot about bike customization. Apparently there's bike customization in this game. And I am all about that. Where? How you doing? Just straight vibing. All right, you you do you, buddy. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. <laughs> Alright. Try to talk to him again. Nope. Continuing to be consistently silent. Let's go right to left. Wow. I keep thinking I can like jump or something while on the bike. Not that I need to. But that's what the A button presses are for. Or X, I mean. Whoa! Alright. I can jettison myself off the bike. That's so cool. Okay. This place is a bit more functional. Can I drive? Am I old enough to drive? There's nothing of use to be found in this ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the, po of the cockpit. Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. S stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramin. Concentrate. I don't think... Ramin? Ramin. <laughs> Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if what that old machinist told us holds up. If not, there will be hell to pay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Ramin. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Romana's mask. Not that hard! You've torn it out! 
Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked. We're flying! More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramin? Let me check the machinist's notes. A long pause, the rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Ramin? That lever, Toma, the one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off there. Oof. Well. That sucks. Are you looking for a calibrator? I don't remember what voice I gave Saima. I'm immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. I'm be a punk kid, I guess. In practice... You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never! She never fails to get to me. <laughs> You're a horrible child. I'm not going to say that to a kid. May I please have it? I decide to be gentle, and I ask her, may I please have it? May I please have it? She mimics me terribly, all high and screechy. Despite my best efforts, I seethe. Oh well, too bad. Maybe you'll find it on your own. But I don't think so. Saima laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Saima. If you give me some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Beetle detour. Yeah, I was, uh, I was too busy getting swindled to notice the beautiful sunset. I hope it was a really good one, Sarah. I sure hope it was. Because I'm about to sunset that child. But we're going to go... At the risk of going somewhere where there are beetles and killing two birds with one stone, I'm going to go here first because I don't feel like dealing with beetles. I want robot parts. Whoa! Okay. Do just a little quick somersault there. Up the hill. Over the hill. Drive through this for funsies. Heck yeah, can I do a barrel roll? Not to my knowledge. Do a barrel roll! How do I... I don't know how I would do one. Well, maybe I can. I don't know how I'd... I'd probably have to get more speed and come at something from the side. I'm not sure. Alright, well, let's try and navigate our way up there. tunnel to get flipped upside down, maybe. Ooh, that was close. Okay. I swear, if there were steps here the full time. This might have been the way they wanted me to come in.
Oh, okay. Let's try this way. I don't know if I'm going backwards or forwards, but you know. I haven't been to either of these locations, so moving in general means I'm progressing. Also, I wonder if this is easier climbing. No, it doesn't seem so. I never really had any, like, places to explore, per se, as a kid. Like, You know, if you're in, like, a small city and everything, it's, you know, the places to explore are just where other people live or work. And my other home was out in the country where, you know, I, I went exploring, sure, out in nature and such, but, like, I don't know. Like, I can only imagine having, like, some cool, like, rock formations and stuff and, like... Just, like, where, where I want to go to that place that I see and, like, feel accomplished getting there. Yeah, can I imagine living next to a national park, says Ocelot. Uh, yeah, it, it, it would be insane. Well, we got the atomic calibrator. I might fall. Take a look. What are you? Cuts. A cache of 100 cuts. Made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid for easy and convenient transportation. I guess that's the currency that I've been holding on to. Ooh, let's see if we can make it over there. I love that this makes like a static -y noise and the heartbeat and everything. Perpetuity? What's the name of the... Friend! Oh, pardon me. Um. I can... Unfortunately, I cannot honestly say I've been getting enough sleep. Um, and that is only strictly... Well, this time around, it's strictly because Final Fantasy XIV and Walker has been out, and I've been playing that almost nonstop. So pardon my yawning. It is not out of boredom. Oh, excuse me. Um, again. I'll try and stave those off. Ah, uh, bike. Let's push the find bike button. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what enough sleep is either, Sarah. But uh, here on the Yzbrid stream, we promote healthy choices, so regardless of uh, what my choices are, <laughs> get enough sleep, whatever, whatever that means to you. Right, now I guess we gotta do Beatles. <laughs> do as we say, not as we do, Sarah said.
speaking of which, am I going for a seven hour stream? No, I am not going for a seven hour stream this time around. I'm going for three. I'm hoping to be done by about eight. Or not by, but at about eight. Ah, so that you can, you know, get more things done and, and continue to live your life. Uh, uh, Fizz? No. Why, it's to play more Final Fantasy XIV. And also to check a... I got a audition text and some other stuff that I'll, I'll fiddle with in a few. Let's see. Who was the person that I needed to talk to about the Beatles? Ask around camp to find out how to catch Beatles. Band on the run. Beatles, yeah. Umar, are you not going to tell me about Beatles? You know, JRPG. John, Ringo, Paul, George. <laughs> JRPG. that's come up before. <laughs> but it's like my favorite stupid acronym to bring up. <laughs> I could ask catching beetles. Or I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little sign -off. Do you know where I can find some beetles? That's a nest of beetles just east of here. There's, there's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. She's a lot of animations. I like her uh, Lego brick mask. Are those lights? Uh, something on your mind? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Ilaria over there. Follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Ilaria. Does she need help? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine, and I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. A Robert Merlot, here to bring rice and... and... and food. Well! Thank you! It's chicken, and Brussels sprouts, and rice. Hans departs back to his moderator chair. Oh... If you're gonna get yourself a roommate, get yourself a roommate that cooks. But no Merlot. No, uh, Robert Merlot did not bring me any R Merlot. But that's fine, because I've got water. Oh. And I will consume this upon next break. And next break is in... 13 minutes. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. <laughs> we have cab, not Merlot. Yeah, we did pick up some cab, didn't we? We also have sh uh, champagne in the fridge, I think. <laughs> yeah, it has almost been an hour. This game kind of just ticks by. I think technically I went on break around... Well, no, because I came back at around the 15-minute mark. So... I can... 
I'll still play for a little while. A map. I approached the cartographer. Uh, what what voice should we give cartographer Jordan? We'll give him like the the choose goose, or give them. I don't know the. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? I nod enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off of one. Best not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you. And, uh, oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm stable. Suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? Do, do I need a map? Ask the cartographer if I need one. Do stag beetles like figs? I have no idea, but contextually, I assume the answer is yes. If you're leaving on your gliding, Sable, you'll definitely need a map of the ewer at least. And I'll sell you one for only 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I need to ask Jotty for some money. Farewell, child! <laughs> yeah, alright, that worked. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. <laughs> Thanks. Agreed, Ilaria. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know kids okay. All right, now, now there was something about a beetle, right? Gather beetles uh, e east of the camp, and east is this way, where we were headed. Let me find my bike. <laughs> The weast. Get a seed, drop it, sneak up on him. Right, 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 right. Did it say where I get a seed? Oh, you're cool. Oh, this is the same person. Oh, it's Driss. Uh. Right. This is the mechanic. Yeah. I know she spends a lot of time in the cave under the camp. You could have a look down there. Triss asks me a series of increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. I'm just wondering if I have to get the seeds at camp first. I see, I could just go and take it from her, though. <laughs> I feel like on the cliff near the nest is the main river. Thank you, Ocelot, for paying more attention than I am. I don't mean to not be paying attention. Uh, all right. I did make a bargain. I don't want to recant my bargaining. Whoa! Ah, I should have gotten an achievement for that sweet, like, nosedive 360. Okay, so east of the camp. If. That would have been this way, right? Because it was over by the balloon thing. Did I just go the wrong way? Okay, I went west. Cave was near camp, right? The 
east of camp. been here park you in the shade I didn't mean to start climbing but let's do this yeah I thought I read that it was under the camp too uh, I'm gonna just see what's up here real fast and then I will go I don't remember if this was one of the spots though I don't think it was oh come on Please. climb child yeah because I don't remember some of these formations like that Unless maybe this is the nest? <laughs> ah, okay, so this is the nest where I'll need to be to get beetles. like an eye. Alrighty. So. Did you say the seeds were near here? I also don't like how I hear beetles all around me. All around me are familiar beetles. I bet they're up there. Is that some ukulele? Banjo? Mandolin? This soundtrack is incredible. Okay, those have to be the seeds up there. Where's this friend, though. Get that chum egg. were made. Unless I can get seeds here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Sorry, I had to had to count out that rhythm and see if they were doing something wild.
How did I get up there again? Did I approach from that side? I think I did. Yes, I did. Let's try this. There we go. go I want to get on the right side but maybe the left is the correct approach or maybe the music is telling me I was going in the right direction oh, this looks like the right way yeah Please, mandolin, guide me. Birds. That's not seeds. That's money. I don't want money. I want seeds. Uh... There, maybe? Not quite. Hmm. Well... I guess we'll just go have to go back and talk to them. Because I'm not seeing any seeds. Uh, you're not leading me astray. In fact, you led me into birds, which was nice. Okay, well. Where did I put the bike? The bike is behind me. Right, I put it down. There. Cool. Beetles. Uh huh. What good sound effect. I love it. Okay, we're going back to camp for a second. And we're gonna ask Driss. Where was Driss? Driss was... Driss was like next to it. Like a sheer wall. Thought. Let's go full circle. Yeah. There's gotta be like an achievement or something in this game for like doing some kind of six, 1080. I don't remember where Driss is. Uh, where are I going to find him? 
There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor, and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. That was it. He's just... Every time I talk to him, he's just going to get closer and closer to Patrick Warburton. Yeah, the seeds for the beetles. The beetles specifically eat the seeds. The beetle seeds. Uh, why do I? <laughs> I'm like, why do I keep pressing square to jump off my bike as if square is map? Well, Final Fantasy 14. That might be what button I press to bring up the map. All right, uh, this is what I wanted. But we were going, once again, east. East. So it's in the right spot. It's like around the rocks near the nest. Uh, I will say, uh, in response to okay yeah that was a sick that was a sick spin um, Final Fantasy 14 is like like the it has one of the most intuitive like controller setups for like an action RPG like that it's so comfy like you wouldn't think it would be but like it's so comfy and even as a healer, like, even as somebody who has to, like, sift through party member names and stuff, like, they make it real easy. I'd say, like, it, it, it doesn't play like Xenoblade does, but, like, kind of the way... Xenoblade uh, has uh, controller setups for being like an MMO style RPG. Yeah, Scooter was scooting. Scooter sure was scooting. Uh, as far as Blue Mage setups, uh, we're we're in we're in Final Fantasy XIV territory for those that are uh, that it sounds like I'm speaking a different language. Uh, so. There's a person, um, I think I've posted them on uh, the Final Fantasy XIV channel on the Yisbrid Discord. Discord.gg slash Yisbrid Games. We have some specific game channels for our multiplayer friends, such as Final Fantasy XIV, Girls Frontline, uh, mobile games, some other good things. Um, but... Uh, are these the seeds? Were these the seeds the whole time? Like, do I have to get them from the... From that? Uh... They sure are. All right. Oh my god, they're adorable. Gotcha. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Gotcha nose. Thanks for hanging out, Hunter Prime. I agree. It is good to hang out with everyone with some good sable. Some chill sable, in fact. Even if this is occasionally panic sable, as I wonder how I'm doing 720s in midair on my super cool bike come on come on beetle unless I can't like use an old seed does it know that it's been nibbled on or something you know what that's probably what it is Just snag another one now we wait go on yeah, you see it. That's too good. Ha! One more. Um, 
Oh, anyway, uh, so I was talking about um, the uh, controller setups for Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, there's this person on um, Twitter and Twitch named Squintina who does, uh, like, I, I think controller setups are pretty arbitrary uh, as far as, like, you're gonna just kind of figure out what you like, but what I like about her setups is that they are all uh, uniform across uh, role types. So, like, all the tanks are gonna have their like, roll actions on the same buttons across all the movesets and stuff. And she tries to, like, match like with like as far as uh, if you use multiple of her setups, they will start to feel intuitive when you... Like, when you get one, you get more than one. And so she has setups for Blue Mage that follow those same kind of outlines. But Blue is also just kind of a build-your-own-adventurer. Build a Blue Workshop. Where did I leave that bike? There she is. <laughs> Blue is the problem, child. I really enjoy the thought process, and they help me be better at doing keyboard and mouse setups. Uh, the thought process of Squintina's setups, or the thought process of making your own setups? Sorry, just a little clarification. Cause I'm Squintina setups. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, she's she's pretty cool. I I enjoy her content. I don't think it necessarily warrants like a, a shout out, uh, like a link and all that kind of stuff on in here. But um, uh, that said, you can find that we discuss all this and more in the Final Fantasy XIV channel on the Yesbird Discord. Uh, I am spinning around because I am trying to remember that I need to talk to Saima. I think was her name. that cave is. And I think as soon as we find the cave, we're going to go on another break because it's now 7-11. Yeah, Hunter Prime of keeping ability types at the same spot. So if you have the muscle memory between jobs like you mentioned, yes. Like if I want to uh, use a gap closer, I just know it as like double tap R triangle. Like it's just, you know, oh, I want to get from here to there. It just happens. This game is very, very pretty. I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Sima the Beatles, but rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving! You're leaving and you'll never come back! Uh... Uh, she blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. There, there, small child. You are never getting back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. Uh, I miss her too. <laughs> There's been a letter here and there, but it is always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please don't go. I tell Simon not to worry, that I will be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she pouts behind the mask. And I add that if I am not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding by then, and she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good! Then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Aw, oh, thank you, Velbesta. Giving me the compliments, making me feel all warm and fuzzy. This is where I got that dye, I think. Yes. Blue pot, red dye. 
Uh, I need to go deliver the parts to Cizo. And Cizo is all the way at the top of the tower. Please. I wish to climb you. I can hear, as I as I see Ocelot posting my website, I can hear Meredith and Jacob, like, shoulder angel and devil, like, screaming at me. But, like, one's not an angel and one's not a devil. They're both, like, basically, I, I don't know. I don't know where what, what, what type of imp-like creatures they are, but they're both, like, advertise yourself! So yeah, you can hear my voice work and see what I'm up to these days. Which reminds me, I need to update the calendar with the fact that I'm doing this every every week. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Capitalists. <laughs> and thank you for liking my shirt. Yes, I got it from... Uh, oh, I'm going to show off two things right now. I'm going to show off two things. One... Actually, you know what? This is a good spot for a break, so I'm just going to utilize this to uh, set this here. Set this here. Go this way. But uh, I got my booster shot today for COVID number three, so gonna going to probably feel... A little, a little woozy tomorrow. We'll see. Find out. I have, I have good food around, and I can always send Hans out to moderate me some soup or something if I need it. And uh, oh, I'm, I'm doing this on a booster day, but the, the, the big hit from the booster is the day after. So like. For instance, if you're uh, when I when I um, got my second shot, I made sure to request off my second or not. Uh, I requested two days off. I requested one to get there because I had to drive like an hour and a half to get my second shot because it was back in the before times or not the before times, but the after the before times, but during the during times, during the earlier during times, later early. Yeah. Uh, but two. Uh, yeah, I I. Um, I'm an evergreen donor for uh, Capital Public Radio in Sacramento. Uh, support your local public radio stations. They're amazing. And uh, always have excellent content. Like the uh, the thing that I posted earlier about uh, the composer for this game is the band Japanese Breakfast. And they had an article about them. Yeah. Also local newspapers. Yes. Your local, your local news media, uh, public stuff, <laughs> and and don't drive like my brother, says Mercano eighty two. Oh, don't, don't get the shot and drive. Is that the? Because I mean, it could be like you know, support support your local news stations. Support your local public radio and don't drive like Mercano 82's brother, because maybe Mercano 82's brother is is a poor driver. But I think I, I think we're I think we're saying don't don't get the shot and then have a. It was a sign off for Car Talk. Oh no, oh a classic NPR show and I didn't know about it. Yeah I, I don't know I I'm trying to remember I I probably started listening like in. Uh, 2013, 2012, 2013, maybe somewhere around there was when I like got into NPR and uh, doubly so if they had a show about cars, I probably wouldn't have listened to it because while I love listening to NPR, like cars aren't really my cars aren't really my thing, but I like to drive, but I know nothing about the metal explosion go fast machine in which I plant myself. 
The two old cars that sponsored Lightning McQueen and Cars, those were the Car Talk Brothers. That is so cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, a lot. Um, that said, I'm going to go put some food in my belly. Imagine that I made some clever fueling up metaphor for all this car talk. And then uh, I shall be back for the final bit of Sable. Let's see if we can get a bike before I go. I like that plan. Ta-ta for now. Shall return.
can still stay on break for a couple more minutes while people get back from their various reasons for being away from the away from the stream. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, you guys are talking about Jonathan Colton being on um Maybe you're saying ask me another what was the, doesn't he, wasn't uh, Jonathan Colton on live from here as well? Or, I mean, not live from here, but there was a, there was another one that, maybe it was Ask Me Another, but I thought there was a, maybe it was that one. Because I know I, I was listening to a show that I didn't listen to very often, and then I heard his name mentioned, and I was like, wait, that Jonathan Colton? Looked it up, and sure enough. Um, while we're jumping on the NPR uh, shows, I'm very much a uh, radio lab uh, and um, uh, what's the other one? This American Life fan, fan of both of those. Um, folks were talking about the emergency maintenance tonight on Final Fantasy 14. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to take a personal extra second here while we listen to this lovely music and this will this will finish out the break. But uh I'm going to do this. If I can do it real fast. Come on. There it is. And mute. Haha. -ha. Now hopefully this doesn't kill performance on Sable. Because if it does, then I'll just close FF14. But I'm gonna wait in queue for the rest of the stream. <laughs> While I play. <laughs> Yeah, 3,500 people. Let's uh, let's get back to uh, what we were doing, though. Is it? Oh, okay. Lame. All right, never mind. Hopping out of the queue. <laughs> out. Peace. Alrighty. Was worth a shot. All right. That's okay, too. All right. Trade places with my larger self. Oh, psh, no, nothing to apologize for. I <laughs> had one frame most of the time. Sometimes there were half frames. A frame is a frame. You can't say it's only half. Now, A presses, on the other hand. All right. I need to go now. Uh, we got beetles. We were taking them back to uh, Cizo, right? I think. I did get very pastel. It's interesting. Kind of every, every time of day is almost a completely different color palette. Oh, is it just overcast? This is just overcast. I like that they have different weathers. Right, excuse me. Uh, uh, we gave the beetles to the kid, but then the parts, now that I have all of them, that's what I'm taking to... to Cizo. Cizo with the... It said throaty voice, and I chose to interpret that as... smoky, I guess. Because otherwise, we'd go here. I turn to Caesa with the parts, and it's as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. Then let us head to the workshop.
Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Caesar was in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, <coughs> excuse me. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Just updated, assemble the machine. Do we pick up the... Charmometer? The Bulba Tank? Or the Squirt Zister? What do we pick up first? Alright. Let's do... Let's do Squirtle first. I don't like throw. To put it in this. <laughs> Biting bike front. Maybe each thing can only go in one spot? Oh, I see, it comes down. What if I, what if I pick up this other one first? Not that one. Stop that. Okay, each thing can only go in one spot. Are there other objects I could pick up in this building? And be cheeky about it. And put together a wacky bike. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we're, we're going with this. Sorry. It is as nature intended. It is how it always has been. We are simply reforming it to the way it once was. so happy. Caesar tilts her head a moment, leaning closer, too. Simoon. All at once I know the hoverbike's name. Simoon. I say it in a whisper to let Caesar know. Simoon. Simoon. Well done, Sable. What sort of name is that? I ask Caesar what sort of name it is and if it speaks to any particular clan or culture. If it does, then I do not know it. Perhaps you will find out on your journey. Caesar shrugs, mostly to herself. Or perhaps you won't, but I hardly think it matters. You are bonded all the same. I tell Simoon that I am eager to know her better, and Caesar looks quite proudly at the both of us. Uh, this camera is being we weird. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Caesar was prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I thank Caesar twice for good measure and give a bow. I am ready. I should also speak to Jotty. Because I can't take this yet. We're not gonna take it yet. 
now we're not gonna take it yet. Quotes from a selection of obscure and lyrically mediocre Ebexy historical ballads whenever I pass by. Ooh, he changes them. We look up to the cliff edge, the sure hooves of the Ebex. Ibex. It is an Ibex. Okay. It should be Ibexy, then not Ebexy, right? Because Ibex is how they pronounce the, the animal name. We look up to the cliff edge, the sure hooves of the Ibex anchored to the steps. Horned sentinels guarding the high plateau. Our boots find purchase in the stone, and we remember the days when we could not glide. That didn't rhyme at all. But I appreciated it. I tell Jotty that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of the Ewer. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely, <laughs> and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I think Jotty effusively and head out on my way. I should buy a map back to, to Tingle. <laughs> tingle? Tingle? Cool Olympa! Where did Tingle go? Tingle? Tingle was there, right? Yes. <laughs> Oh, and uh, I saw some comments in the uh, the Yizbrid Discord um, about how I guess this game is causing a lot of like motion sickness uh, for some of the viewers. Um, so if there are any settings that uh, folks know will help with that, let me know. Um, I'm trying to be more conscious of my like camera movements, but I it's one of those things where like you do it so reflexively that like sorry if I'm whipping the camera all around. Uh, so I hope that's not causing too much of an issue. Um, I will I will do my best to keep conscious of it, but it is very much an unconscious thing. Greetings, child! I'll buy that map. Perfect! Let's trade, then! Map of the U are sold by members of the Cartography Guild. I'll take one! I thank Jordan for the Ewer map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable! I still remember mine! I ask how it was. Short! I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, huh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you. From Hakoa to the Sonic Waste! I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child! Purveyor and surveyor. I want to be a carnal gumanaga to murmur too! Says Alaria. <laughs> uh, down we go. I want to talk to Jotty one more time. I return to Jotty with a new lightness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable! Is that a badge you've got there? If you collect all eight, I'll let you into the Elite Four. 
Cizo gave it to me. I tell Jotty that Cizo gave me the badge. Then you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mask caster in no time. What the heck's a mask caster? I try to think about going to a mask caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. They cast masks. I see. A mask caster. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever? I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there fighting Misty and Brock and Surge. And once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish, like Bionicles. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. How will I choose one? You'll have to feel it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now. The tone of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there is only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Roana. There you'll assemble your gliding mask. And go. There are things I wish to convey to Jotty here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They're dyed with the traditional Ibexy maroon, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the Ibexy. You will simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. And I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I am ready. Oh, my heart! <sighs> where did they say to go? The temple. <laughs> Do I take the bike still? Do I take the new bike? Can I take the new bike? Old bike. Maybe I can't get that bike yet. Well, the game will make me go and get the bike at some point. And the face temple is this way. I guess this is where I started, yeah? <laughs> Hello to Silver. Ocelot's cat. stand? No. Let's try the more direct approach. Stairs! Did they call it a face shrine? What did they call it? The face temple. Because a link to uh, uh, Link's Awakening, Zelda game had a face shrine. What? Okay. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> Just 
these are the faces of evil. Where would you like to go? Okay. There's an archer and a mothman and there's people down there. How easy is it to climb back up here? Easy. This soundtrack, too good. How does one get back up? Right here. I'm wondering if because uh, you're saying you're slightly worried about the seemingly petrified people. It says Ocelot. I'm wondering if they're more of like the um, like the Chinese, I believe it was Chinese army, the, the clay, the clay army, terracotta army. Cuts, a hundred of them. Uh, where they were like, Crafted for the temple, kind of a thing. So, let's see what this is. Okay. So I have to do both of these. Is there another? I guess we'll use the first ladder. And just go back the other way. I would like to get that bike before before ending stream. I have a goal, darn it. <laughs> uh, I hmm. can I? This might be kind of janky. Uh, well, I didn't do what I wanted. Oh well. Oh, we can do this though. We sure can. Cool. Somebody, somebody described this game as like Breath of the Wild without the combat. I think I agree with that. Like, it's very much like it feels so Zelda. Uh, even in the like, not just in the like running around and climbing things. Like, not just in the game mechanics, but in like you know, you enter a room, the ambiance, the the figuring out the way to navigate something. I don't know. It's all I'm digging it. Though I do feel like there should be a sword right there. Uh, is there another thing I need to push? Ah, yes. Try to climb. 
climb this, please. <laughs> There's steps. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Sarah, I, I enjoy, like, like I, I don't mind the combat in Zelda games, but I am so much more of the, like, puzzle solver. Like, if I touch that Triforce, like, the power and courage are going to other people and keeping wisdom. <laughs> Get a new mask? Is that what this is? Everything is desaturated. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. mask. I just like that. I can take it. Can I I sure can wear it. Rad. Rad. They give me buffs? I'm not that big of a fan of the puffy pants. I think I might keep that. This has also given me major, like, Ico vibes. Ico. I never knew how to pronounce it. And I always have to say both names because I never know which one is correct. But the, like, like, it feels so very, like, Shadow of the Colossus and, like, Eco, Eco. Where it's sort of just about like discovering this culture through just seeing it. Where I love everything that's going on artistically, but which way did I come in? I came in this way. There we go. Oh, farewell, neon lit ones. <laughs> Kofi, coffee. I I assumed it was coffee, like buy me a coffee, K O hyphen F I. But it could be like it could rhyme with lo-fi, I suppose. <laughs> Kofi hip hop beats to study relax to. It looks, it definitely doesn't look like coffee. I, I, yeah, 
I agree with that too, Sarah. Sarah says, uh, depending on the context, saying coffee wouldn't necessarily clue someone in on what you're discussing. Logging in. Hello, Sable. There we go. I don't know why that voice was so hard for me to find earlier. Oh no! Jotty's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. No! Just when I get the just when I get the robot voice. No. I'm using robot voice in her head for just this. Jotty's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. That's all you get. Okay. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the machinist at Burnt Oak Station and among Sizo's closest friends. Utari's a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Ewer. So keep an eye on the post boxes. And try not to forget us. <laughs> she takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. End transmission. beautiful this game is something that's for sure call out agro agro yeah Yeah! And we get the cool energy trail! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is so cool. And I can kind of do flips and shit, but I don't mean to. Okay, this is now a... This is now a drifting stream. So cool. I can now leave the canyon. Yeah, much less bumpy than the other one. Um, well, you know what? I think that about wraps it up for the stream then. Because now that I can leave the canyon, I don't know if I can only leave the canyon in one direction. But making that choice is something I'll do at the beginning of the next one. Um, little bit of news. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? We wanted a 1080, right? We got like a 12,000 there. That was fun. Um, so yeah, next news is just that uh, next next Tuesday will not be Sable. Next Tuesday will be um, will be World of Horror. Can I? How do I save? There we go. Save. Yes. Uh, World of Horror with uh, Meredith and I. And we'll hear the title music, because it'll play again, I think. Yeah. 
Um, and then we'll we'll return to Sable for the two Tuesdays after that. But yeah, uh, uh, Thursdays Meredith is continuing her playthrough of Night in the Woods until such time as she completes that. And upon completion, she is switching over to uh, Detroit, becoming human. So look forward to more of that. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, even though it's gorgeous. Let me see if that. How's the balance there? Um, but yeah, uh, and then uh, yeah, so so it'll it'll be a uh, uh, Tuesdays are Sable, Thursdays are uh, Night in the Woods or Detroit Becoming Human. Um, next Thursday is the Spirit Squad stream, uh, so we'll be we'll be doing that another another group get together. Um, not this Thursday, but the Thursday after. Um, and because I've said all of these out of order and in some strange sequence, uh, follow us on Twitter. Check out our Discord. Uh, Twitter.com slash Games, Discord.gg slash Games. Uh, and there you can completely fact check uh, all of the times and dates that I gave you. Uh, I, I know I didn't say them, uh, I did not say them incorrectly. I just said them in a wonky order. Yes. And of course, yisbird.net is the uh, home base there. Um, as for myself, Ocelot just threw it into chat. Man, I don't have to do anything around here. Uh, you can find me, Kellen Fizz Stevens, at fizz, findfizz.biz uh, for more voiceover goodness and all that stuff. I'm also at fizzthehuman on Twitter. And Fizz the Human on Twitch. Uh, like so. Uh, since I'm not logged into the Isbrid Games channel. And I am logged into my own. <laughs> um, there was one other thing I wanted to note before I go. And I will probably make a post about this. Um, if you are someone who celebrates Christmas. Or even if you're not. Or you know someone who does. Etc. Um, I offer uh, in December. Like free santa voice clips so if you um have like a, a a child friend or an adult friend uh who you want to either have like a, a voice clip sent to them or like you know doing like a voicemail type thing or something like that uh, I, I i do a santa voice so that uh, all the good boys and girls can know that saint nick is out there looking out for them <laughs> Uh, so feel free to, to, uh, talk to me on discord is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, and you can just have me say whatever you want. I just for free, you can, you know, Christmas cheer to whoever needs it. Um, and if you're not a Christmas celebrator and you have a, uh, winter time thing that is something equivalent and you think I can do a voice for that, then, uh, we can talk about that too, cause you know I don't want to restrict it to just Christmas, but like, I know Santa, I I can make something up for Krampus, I guess. But yeah, anyway, um, that's that. That's been a good night. Thanks for hanging out for Sable. It's been fun, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys, you folks. Uh, next, I will be here next Tuesday for World of Horror with Meredith. Next Thursday for uh spirit squad stuff not this thursday but the next and then tuesdays after that so farewell and have a great night toodaloo it's been fun <laughs>